Hello everyone, my name is Brian. I'm an artist here at the Magic of Disney Animation at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And today I am going to teach you how to draw the one, the only, Winnie the Pooh. All right, we're gonna start with a circle. And as always, the best way to draw a circle is to use your whole arm, your shoulder naturally rotates. So we're gonna practice first, using your whole arm to draw a circle. It's the only way you can draw a perfect circle. Can't do it any other way. Can't use your wrist or your elbow. You just gotta use your whole arm, that shoulder in rotation. So, very, very lightly, it's very important to start our lines out really, really lightly, right in the middle of your page. You're going to draw a circle about the size of a CD or a DVD. You just want to go around multiple times. The more times you go around, you're able to fix your flat spots, your indents, anything that makes it not a circle. It's really important to do lots of repetition with your circles. Keep it really, really light. Then we need guidelines. Guidelines that tell us where we put the pieces of the character, like eyes, nose, mouth, etc., etc., etc. We need to know where the center of his head is. He's going to be looking straight at us. So we're going to divide our circle in half, from top to bottom. Then into quarters, from right to left. You really want to keep those lines really, really light. You don't want to make it look like you're putting a target on his head. So really, really light with those lines. And we're going to draw an oval. If you're not sure how to draw an oval, just draw a circle incorrectly. We're going to lean it against this guideline right here. It's going to go down towards the bottom of the circle. Nice, tall oval. Then we get his nose. His nose is a teddy bear nose. And so we're going to go just down from the top of the oval. I'm going to follow the same curve as the top of the oval. And we're going to create that teddy bear nose shape. So about halfway down the oval sort of like a guitar pick if you chip the tip off of it. Big teddy bear nose. We'll go across from the uh, middle of the nose off to the left side of the oval and we'll draw a little curve connecting the oval to the side of the circle. The same thing on both sides because he's symmetrical. What have you done on one side you're going to do on the other. Those the corner of his mouth. And from the middle of those lines, you're going to draw a line going down to the bottom of the oval, and you connect it all together to make a nice happy poo. You can go straight up from the uh, top of the dimple, that corner of the mouth there, to the guideline. We'll draw little circles. Those are for his eyes. Maybe one there. And one there. Halfway between the circle and uh, halfway between the eye and the top of the circle, we're going to draw his eyebrows. The eyebrows are little banana shapes, just messy banana shapes. All right, now we can darken the facial features just to get that out of the way. And we can start by darkening the outline of the nose. Then you can turn your pencil to the side, use like a paintbrush, and shade in the nose. The faster you shade with the side of your pencil, the more even your surface. You don't ever want to use the tip of your pencil when you shade. The only thing that'll do is frustrate you, take you forever, look really bad when you're done, break your pencil, and possibly give you carpal tunnel. So to avoid all those things, use the side your pencil shade really, really fast. Requires no skill to do this. Just grab the pencil, flail your arm back and forth. As long as you touch paper, you'll make it even surface. And we're going to go ahead and darken the top curve of the oval from one side of the nose to the other. And once you've got that, you can go ahead and darken the facial features. You want to leave your circle and your guidelines alone. And that oval, don't touch any more of that oval. A Pooh Bear is a real stuffed animal. He really belonged to the real Christopher Robin, who's a real son of A.A. Milne, the author of Winnie the Pooh, way back in 1926. And at first, when he was given to Christopher Robin, he was named Edward Bear. Christopher Robin uh, changed that name to Winnie the Pooh a little later on. You can find the real Winnie the Pooh stuffed animal as well as Piglet and Tigger and Eeyore and Kanga all residing in a display case at the New York City Public Library. 
So if you ever want to go see the real honest-to-goodness stuffed animals that inspire the stories, that's where they're at. They're up in New York City. Nice messy eyebrows there. All right. Pooper has a pretty misshapen head. It's just all stuff of fluff. And he has these big cheeks that jut out from the side of his head. So we're going to go across from the top of the eye off to the side of the circle. And we're going to draw a curve. We're just going to go down and out, and then in and down. So you want to make sure you get a good curve in there. So down and out, in and down. You can do that on both sides. Should be able to latch onto that cheek and that dimple and just go squish, squish, squish. And we can go ahead and darken those once you're happy with them. You don't have to wait. Big squishy cheeks. top of his head is flat, well, sort of flat. Just don't make it too flat because he's not Frank and Pooh. So we're going to drag the line from the cheek against the side of the circle. We're just going to push us above the circle. I'll leave about a quarter of an inch above the circle, and I'm going to curve across, going to flatten out the top a little bit, connect it all together to make your basic Winnie the Pooh head shape. You can go from light to dark with that. Uh, before you darken, make sure that your lines are the way you want them to be. You don't ever want to make anything permanent if you can't fix it. His ears look like circles if you mash them on the top of his head. Then an angle from the eyebrows, and we're going to place one right here. A little teddy bear ears. Some people consider them like Mickey's ears. They're not like Mickey's ears at all. Mickey's ears are freestanding circles on the top of his circular head. Pooh's ears are teddy bear ears, so they may have started out as circles when they were uh, cut out from, from fabric. But once they're sewn together, stuff of fluff and sewn onto his head, they're not circles anymore. They've got that flat spot on one side, a little bit of angle on this one. All right, we're going to give him a little bit of his shirt collar. He's got that little red shirt that he wears. And we're going to start at the bottom of the head with a little curve running down to the center guideline. It's going to start a little bit on the outside of the cheek and curve down to the guideline. Same thing on both sides. Connect it together so it looks like a side view of an open book. And we see the ends of the collar. Just draw a little curve around that, and we can see a little bit of shoulder right there as well. And they can go through. You can use the side of your pencil, or you can get a uh, red pencil or a red crayon and just go through really lightly and put a little bit of shade on that shirt collar. A lot of people think that little red shirt is something that uh, we gave him here at Disney because it's not in any of the original book illustrations. But that's not actually the case. It dates all the way back to a year after the book's original publication, back in 1927. E.H. Shepard, who was the illustrator of the books, uh, was asked to do a drawing of Pooh and Piglet for a board game that was coming out. It was it's considered the first Winnie the Pooh merchandise. And he decided just to add a little red shirt onto him. Nobody really knows why. And then when we got a hold of the property, started making films of Winnie the Pooh in 1966, we decided to keep that little red shirt on him. And he's had it ever since. All right, there you guys have it. You can go ahead and sign your drawing. Always sign your drawings. So you know whose masterpiece it is. There he is, the chubby, cuddly, all stuff of fluff Winnie the Pooh. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys, and please come visit us here at the Magic at Disney Animation at Disney's Hollywood Studios.